All right, now you're gonna learn uh, about the different types of angles that we will be working with. So first off, you see this little, looks like a little uh, less than or greater than sign. It's slightly different, but it's the symbol for angle. And if you ever see a little M next to that symbol, it means the measure of that angle. Okay, so just so you know how, how to proceed from there. <clears throat> Here are the types of angles. Do you see this? That's a right angle. Why? It's got the little square right there. That's a right angle. And it equals 90 degrees, that total angle. Um, a complementary angle is also what we call this because we've got two different angles inside the right angle. All right, they share this one ray, just like we said. It's two adjacent angles. Adjacent meaning they're right next to each other and they share a wall. Okay, so the definition of complementary, which you need to know what complementary means, it's two angles added together equal 90 degrees, and the math def definition is the sum of two adjacent angles equaling 90 degrees. So that's complementary, 90 degrees complementary, or a right angle, which I know you guys know what that is. Then you have a straight angle. We've learned that before. It's just a straight line, all right, with looks like two rays, one going this way and one going this way. And it looks like it's got the sun rising, and that is 180 degrees from there to there. If you were to use a protractor on any of this, you would see that that is 180 degrees, which is, by the way, half of a circle. All right, so off of a straight angle is 180 degrees. Now, if we add off of this straight angle another ray, another angle that shares that vertex right there. Then now we call it supplementary because the sum of those two angles, just like it equals 180 here, the sum of these two angles added together, the sum, will also equal 180. Okay, so you can see this one's 60, that one's 120. It would have to be because they, both of them together have to equal 180. And 55 and 35 were my two examples here. Those have to add to 90 because it's a right angle, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. The last type of angle we'll talk, angle we'll talk about in this lesson are called vertical angles. It's like an X. You see this? It's like an X. And the, the opposite angle is what we call as opposite. This is opposite that, not next to, opposite. This is opposite that, not next to, opposite. Opposite angles are congruent. Congruent means exactly the same. We have to remember the word congruent. We are, are going to be talking about that a lot. Opposite angles are congruent. Okay, so if you notice, we have this is 80, so is that. If that's 100, so is that. If I had one of these missing, it wouldn't matter. I could fill in the blanks of the missing, okay? And I'm just going to throw this out there. Do you notice the angles also create supplementary angles? So see that? That's a straight angle right there. And if I want to look at this, 100 plus that 80, those two angles right there, they equal 180. So does 80 and this 100 because that's a straight angle. So that's supplementary. Now look at it looking this way. Look at that straight angle and these two angles equaling 180, and then that straight angle and these two angles equal 180. So there's a lot of supplementary angles there, and there are also vertical angles there. All right, um, I'm ready now to go on to the assignment. <clears throat> and this is gonna be super fast, super easy. Okay, there's a right angle. We know that all of this together equals 90 degrees. We have angle JKM, as that says, is 35. And they want to know what MKL is. But we know what JKL is, the whole thing, is 90. So what plus 35 is 90? So hopefully you know that that's 55. Some people are gonna to wanna to say 65 because six plus three is nine, but that makes 100. So you have to go a little bit less. You're gonna say 35 and 55 equals 90, okay? So that's all we have to do. So we're finding the missing angles on these. And there we go, hopefully. There we go. Now this is not a 90 degree angle. It's what kind of angle? It's a straight angle, but what's this coming down? It's called supplementary. These two angles are supplementary, 
okay? PQR, as they say, is a straight angle. PQS, PQS is 140, and SQR is X, and they wanna know what X is. 140 plus what equals 180? 40, so your answer is 40, because this is supplementary. Those two angles added together is 180. All right, you see how easy this is? You're gonna look at this and you're gonna probably say, oh, I, I got it, I got it from here. There's still just a few to, to do, all right? This is called complementary or a right angle. Two angles, the sum of two angles added together will equal 90 total. 50 plus what is 90? 40. And they're saying what is X for angle D B, C. I keep doing that because all of this is what you always see on all your standardized tests, and it gets confusing. You're going, what is all this? You just follow the names, follow what they say, A, B, D, A, B, D, all right? It's easy. Just, just I'm just going to continue to practice with you. Okay, so then we move on to number four. Told you this was easy. Okay, this is supplementary. Okay, it's a straight angle, so all of this is 180 altogether. So we're looking for the big angle. That's called an obtuse angle. That's called an acute angle. 35 and this angle added together equal 180. So what do you think it is? Well, we know it's 100. And then what plus 35 gets to 80? That'd be 45. So it's 145. Okay, all right, number five. So that's all you have to do. You just have to find the missing angle. You're either subtracting uh, or adding to get to 90 or 180. This one is a 90. So 65 plus what? They're looking for MKL, which is this one. And so 65 plus what is 90? That would be 25. Okay, 65 plus 25 equals 90. Okay, number six. Okay, okay, okay. All right, now we're getting into vertical angles labeling, giving a pair of vertical angles and a pair of supplementary angles. Now this looks kind of weird, but I'm gonna show you, look. You see the X now? There's the X. So opposite angles are congruent. They kind of point to each other. They're opposite each other. So I just need one pair. There are two pairs of vertical angles there. If you can see, two is opposite three, so I could say angles two and three, and one is opposite four, angles one and four. Now I'm gonna lift my finger, and now look at that. That's another X. They just kind of sharing this line right here, but that doesn't matter. That's an X, and that's an X. And so now that I've gotten you used to seeing it, they've just got two different Xs. There's plenty, there's many extra angles here that uh, they have here to ask only for one. I can say there's one, there's two, that one's three, and that one's four. Opposite angles are congruent. Those are called vertical angles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick angle two and three. It doesn't matter which one you pick. As long as you pick opposite angles, you can't say two and four because that's not opposite. It has to be opposite. But you had four different sets, four different pairs of vertical angles to choose from. You only need one. Supplementary has to be on a straight angle. So two, four is supplementary, but you know what else? Four, three, it's off of that line. Off of this line is one, three, and off of this line is one, two. Same thing here, six, eight, eight, seven, seven, five, five, six. And you can pick any of them. I'm just gonna pick the two, four because it's just right there. I, I go for easy. Don't like to be, be too, uh, don't wanna be too creative. All right. Basically, that's what we're doing for the rest of this assignment. <clears throat> I can do it faster than it, than it gets to the next number because of all the buffering. Frustrating, I know. Okay, I need one pair of supplementary and one pair of vertical. This is all an X and that's all an X. All right, so I, I know that one and three, two and four, five and six, six and eight, those are all vertical angles. I'll just pick, I'll be different. I'll pick two, four this time. 
So for my vertical angles, just make sure you put it in the right boxes. That's supplementary first and vertical. I just went for the vertical. I'm gonna go ahead and pick two, four. I like even numbers. Oops, all right. And then for a supplementary, I'll go down here. How about five, six? Five, six is supplementary. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, five. 1, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, or 3, 4. Yeah, and it doesn't matter um, which which direction you go with it. I could say angle 2, 1, or 1, 2. All right, so I'm just going to do 1, 2. Keep it simple. All right, just one pair. That's all they want. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Supplementary angles. I'm just, look, I just take the top one. I, I, I will go for the fastest, but there's a lot. Seven, eight, eight, four, four, three, three, seven, six, two, two, one, one, five, five, six. Those are all the supplementary. I can I can say in that fast. Vertical angles, just opposite each other. Five, two, six, one, seven, four, eight, three. Let's do seven, four. Why not? Seven, four. Okay. Two different X's and all the extra angles that you can choose from, you get to pick. And whatever you pick will be right, as long as you picked opposite angles or supplementary. So it, it will uh, it'll give you credit for any of the ones that you pick. Okay, vertical angles, opposite angles, opposite angles. Supplementary, right next to each other. What to choose from? Well, for vertical, I'll, I'll go for one four. That's just there and easy. So, uh, supplementary, heck, one, two. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll use this one down here, five, six. Could have done several. There's, there's one, two, three, there's four supplementary pairs for each of these lines here, okay? What did I say for supplementary, seven, eight, or eight, seven, whichever one, either, it'll give you credit either way. All right, last one, and again, uh, it's going to be the same. Vertical and supplementary. Vertical angles, opposite angles are congruent. They are the same. And then for supplementary, they are two adjacent angles adding up to 180. 180, 180, 180. Vertical angles. Here we go. I'll go 6, 8 this time, even though I could have gone 7, 5, 3, 1, or 2, 4. So I'll do 7. I said 7, 8, didn't I? 7, 5. 7, 5. 7, 5 or 6, 8. I'm going to do, I'm going to do 6, 8. I think I said six, eight. I don't know. Okay, supplementary, two, three, three, four, one, four, one, one, two, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, five. Pick, take your pick. I'll do one and four. It's upside down. I usually say that those are the ones that uh, are underground because they look like they're underground. Okay, and that's the assignment. All right, real simple. Supplementary, vertical, straight angle, right angle, complementary. That's it.